Political observers are keeping a close eye on the state of Georgia this week, where former President Donald Trump could soon be facing another indictment. The Fulton County DA has been looking into alleged election interference on part of the former president and his allies related to the 2020 election. CBS News' Jared Hill joins us now. Jared, what are we expecting in the Georgia investigation this week? Yes, yeah, so, uh, Chris and Mary, Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis could start presenting evidence to the grand jury as soon as today. We also know that a number of people have been called to testify before the grand jury for tomorrow. Again, all of this is part of that investigation into the possibility of illegal efforts to overturn the 2020 election. At the heart is that January 2021 phone call to Georgia's Secretary of State, where Trump is heard saying that he just wants to find enough votes to change the outcome in Georgia. Now, an indictment. Uh, uh, this week is not guaranteed, but signs are pointing in that direction. Things like a significant increase in security around the Fulton County Courthouse. And Jared, is there any indication of what charges the former president could be facing here? Yeah, so again, all of this at this point is speculation, right, guys? But there are some legal experts who believe, looking at what they have seen so far from this investigation, that former President Trump could face charges under Georgia's Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, known as RICO. This is usually used uh, against organized crime. Here, though, it will potentially point to a broader alleged effort by Trump and his allies to execute a scheme to undo the election results. And last year, we do know that the DA's office sent letters to multiple Trump allies warning that they could face charges. Uh, Jared, all the candidates, including the former president in Iowa at the Iowa State Fair this weekend, how is yeah. the former president reacting to all of this with this indictment potentially being imminent? Yeah, so he is uh, trying to, to avoid those questions as much as possible. There were a number of times that he was asked by reporters about the case in general, and he ignored the questions. But he did uh, at one point say that he was not planning on uh, accepting any sort of a plea deal here, saying that he didn't do anything wrong, continuing that argument there. Uh, he also, though, has been calling the district attorney uh, racist uh, out, of, out of Georgia uh, in this situation. Uh, and again, said he won't take a plea deal, something that is in interesting with this case, though, is that if there is an indictment, we might see significantly more of the legal proceedings play out in front of our eyes because unlike in federal courts, cameras are generally allowed inside the courtroom in the state of Georgia, so this could all end up being televised. All right, Jared Hill for us live this morning. Jared, thank you.